school's beginning. It's the start of a new term. You had an opening day ceremony at school. See you tomorrow, Miley. See you. Okay. Well, the start of a brand new semester. Two down and just this one to go before the summer holidays. Uh-oh. My, if it isn't Miss Riz, you seem oddly depressed. You were lucky to avoid suspension, so I suggest showing some appreciation. Hey, it's the amazing Octo Girl! Well, grown any since the last time we met? You saw me this morning, not two hours ago. But putting that aside, have you gathered the requisite number of members yet? I spent spring break goofing off. Well, at least you're honest. But the deadline will be here before you know it if you don't pull your socks up. My socks are up. You should quit while you're ahead and just join the mystery book club. Give up and the stand-up routine of life is over. Life isn't a comedy act. Maintain that attitude and you'll like it. Regret it. I'll get the recruits, just you wait and see. Oh, by the way, I have spare tickets to some comedy shows. Interested? I have one for every Saturday in April. Wow, I sure am. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> You'll never get enough recruits if you're watching comedy shows. Miley, she's trying to trick you! And I almost fell for it, thanks! Anyway, what's up, Harriet? There's someone who wants to meet you. Cool, I'll be right there. See you around, Octopusle. What? Did you just hear that? They were saying, oh yeah, oh yeah. What the fuck is with this music? So close. Wait, somebody wants to meet me? <gasps> Hello, Miley! It's a good thing to see you again! Well, howdy there, partner! Excuse me while I saddle my house. Oh, Vivian! Hey, it's Vivian! That's right, you were transferring here today. Yes, but I still have not received a school uniform. Is that the uniform from your last school? No, no, this uniform is for the hockey players. My home country, I used to play much hockey. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh right, we only have a half day today. Have you had lunch today? If you haven't eaten, let's go to Harriet's workplace. I'll be welcome party. I would enjoy that very much, thank you! Harriet's paying, so eat as much as you like. Wait, I'm? Why do I have to pay? Come on, you can afford it. As seniors, we have to treat our juniors right. You are my senior, so you should be treating me. What? She teleported. Ahem. Huh? You're still here? Ollie Ollie Octo Free! I don't suppose you'd allow me to join you for this welcome party? I guess, but your family has swimming pools filled with money, so it's lame to try and score free meals off area. That's not what I'm doing! As student council president, it's in my interest to see that we treat our transfer students properly. I have a duty to ensure that your actions don't reflect poorly on our school within the international community. What am I, a rogue nation? Ah, uh, well, no. Well, why not? I'll invite Sarah, too, and we can meet in front of the cafe. Fine. What am I hearing in the background? Wow, I bet I know what this is. Is it a maid cafe or a butler cafe? Sorry, it's just a normal cafe. I've heard of those. They're Japanese. We don't have them in America. Huh? They're not American? I heard the men go to the butler cafe, and the women go to the maid cafe. If it makes you feel better, I have a personal maid, Harriet. It's true, I'm always cleaning up after you. I don't know that cafe food really makes for the best welcome party. It's a fine, a fine, I am ready for anything. Want to try the special goldfish grits? They're $30. Well, when in Rome, eat Roman food. Next time, we'll take you somewhere with great burgers. Since I'm paying, can you just order the soup? Oh, my usual chili dog. I mean, where are you from originally? I am from Sweden, Stockholm! Sweden, huh? That's number 16 on my list of countries to visit someday. What brings you here? My papa, he loves America. He is a big fan of here. He's a fan of America? Yes! I have been hearing about it since I was a little child. I knew I would go someday, so I studied all about it. You can speak English really well. Can you speak Swedish too? Of 
course she can. What, is she two years old? Alright, I had something to ask you. What is it? Have you decided on a club to join? I'm starting a new club. Would you like to join? Oh, a club? Jay Jay High has so many of these clubs. I think to go and see many and then I will decide. Yeah, that's the best way. Just don't forget about us, okay? My lever is, do you plan to steal her from the other clubs? Hey, the first one to invite her wins. I see, well here's a little fact for you. Hockey is a Swedish national sport. Vivian was a star player at home. The hockey club wants her, of course. They've already started recruiting her. Hockey? Like on the table at the arcade? That's air hockey, dummy. Sticks and balls, but pucks on ice. I'm lost. Who runs the girls' hockey club again? Oh, that's right, Sally. That, as fellow Cherry Tree High student, I'm ashamed that she'd steal a transfer student from another club. I'll show her. I'll tell everyone about when she peed her pants in middle school. <laughs> oh, Miley. Miley can be scary sometimes. Oh, please do not fight for my sake. Just join us and everything will be fine. Oh, you are right. I had not thought that. Hey, now. Don't be sneaky here. Are we done here? I've sat through this farce long enough. Oh, come on. Don't be mad just because we ignored you. I'm not mad. <coughs> fine, fine. We're done. Thank you for today, Tax Mechic. I am happy that you are so kind to me. You're welcome. Come and see us at school sometime. I will do so! You can now go see Vivian and invite her to join your club. Oh, wait, is she the last one? Wait, did I not screw this up? I didn't! Awesome! But wait! How could I possibly have enough time? I have 23 days. <coughs> Chit chat. I tried different approaches and recipes, but however much I tried, but I just can't cook as well as my mother. Really? But your cooking is pretty tasty. It's very nice of you to say. Wow. Miley being nice to Harriet. What is this? You. I hear that our school has produced a few celebrities. Now is the ideal time to collect autographs of future stars. So please autograph this for me, Miley. Sure, but I don't come cheap. Right. So, Vivian. Vivian. Okay. Is she down here? Or are you? There are only outlet stars and halls in here and right now. at an aquarium. And a music park soon, what fun! This place is close to my office, and it's nice to visit on lunch breaks. So what, is she in the museum? That would make sense, but... Um... There isn't a guest speaker in there. Oh, well, yes. Well, now I know what to talk to Vivian about. Sports. And that will probably get me her number. Ah yes, I'm thinking just like Miley would. Crazy. Wait, what? The music, like, it went weird. Very, very, very weird. You know what? Wait, what time is it right now? I don't know what time it is, but... Oh wait, it is after school. Chit chat. I feel stiff. I need to get some exercise. Can you stop doing Taekwondo? Yeah, I can't afford the club fees. I do still practice, though. Hey, you should go challenge our school judo club guys to a fight. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. I, I was joking, you know. So... Sports. Yay! Wait, so we're level three? Today you invited Harriet and Sarah to go see Cindy's band. <gasps> awesome! So here we are! Oh! This makes sense. Live bands. <laughs> We're here! I've never seen a band play before. I'm really excited! We can take pics if we want, right? I brought a flask of tea. Do you think they'll let me take it in? 
you guys think you're at a picnic, huh? Yeah, you gotta bring soda and beer! You gotta march! Fuck yeah. Block errors for life. Well, I should have brought some snacks. This is your first time seeing a live band. Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy the fun. By the way, Mikey is the most generic name ever. And his shirt is backwards. Good job, to the art, art design peoples. There's not much room here, so be sure you don't get squished. We're the opening act, so get your butts in there. Prepare to have your socks rocked off. But I want my rocks socked off. Watch the band play. Wow. That was really something. What do you think? Awesome, huh? It was very loud. You got that right. It was very powerful music. I don't think I've ever been exhausted just from listening to a band before. I know what you mean, my adrenaline's still pumping! Haha, <laughs> you guys get it. What about you, Marley? So blown away you can't even speak? You can tell me. Tell me how awesome I am. For one thing, wasn't it a bit too loud? My ears hurt. Huh, it's gotta be loud, or it ain't rock, you know. And another thing, I couldn't tell what you were screaming about. Oh, today we were covering songs from a Norwegian death metal band. You always were good with languages now that I think of it. <gasps> languages! Wait, is that one of the topics? You know how it is. I can't write lyrics or sing if I don't study that stuff. Oh my, look at the time. We should get back, or Dina will yell at us. Yeah, alright, we're gonna head out. Hope it was a new experience for you guys. Peace, come see us again sometime. Goodbye. Jazz, maybe rocks just beyond you. Haha. <laughs> but you know, it was nice to see you really serious about something. I haven't seen that in a while. Heh, <laughs> the heck? Life's not as easy for me as it is for you. Well, oh, that's harsh. But I do have a dream of my own, you know? It may not look like it, but I'm working hard to achieve my dream. I really do love that about you. D don't throw around the word love like that. Anyway, I'm heading out by. Show up at school once in a while, okay? Later. Oh man. Did everyone already leave? I was gonna invite them to the after party. Oh, they all live in a dorm. They have curfew. Hmm. What is it? Your smile is creeping me out. I was just thinking. You seem pretty happy, huh? No way. It looks that way. You're not as prickly as usual. Actually, I think it might be the first time I've seen you smile. You have some good friends. Be nice to them. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> have you reared yourself? You sound like an old man. You mean like a smart man. Okay, off to the after party. Hell yeah! You watched Cindy's band and you saw a different side of her. Awesome! So, Cindy is level 3? I guess? Maybe? Hey, how about a game of poker? I would actually play a game of poker if you offered it to me. You know, you girls don't know how to party. Back in my day, we used to kick up seven hells. Those were the days. Now keep the noise down the door. What? Talk about double standards. <laughs> Spring break is over. I didn't go anywhere this year either. All I did was work part time. Well, you should have been like me, recruiting for a comedy club. I try different approaches and recipes, but however much I try, I just can't cook as well as my mother. Really, but your cooking is pretty tasty. It's very nice of you to say. Let's see... Let's save? Yep, level 3. And she's the only one. That's really sad. Because <laughs> I met her a lot later. Wow. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna watch TV! Yay, more pet skills. And... We're go off to school next time.